Okay guys, we're going to take a look at solving a uh, homogeneous linear uh, first order partial differential equation of uh, this form right here. And uh, we're going to use the change of variables method. So we're going to use S as our uh, different variable. And uh, we know from multivariable calculus that all we have to do is differentiate each variable in U with respect to this new variable S. So partial u over partial y, dy over ds, and we're trying to make this equation look like this one, so we have to set it equal to zero and compare. Okay, so we notice partial u over partial x, partial u over partial x, so uh, a has to be equal to dx over ds. Likewise, partial u partial y, partial u partial y, so b has to be equal to dy over ds. So we really have three equations here, and that's du over ds is equal to 0, dx over ds is equal to a, and dy over ds is equal to b. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy here. So the derivative of u with respect to s tells us that u has to be a function that is constant with respect to s. Okay, so it's constant with respect to this variable here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these other equations to find out what this constant should be. So using these guys here, I'm going to solve this one for ds. So I get dx over a is equal to ds. And here I get dy over b is equal to ds. Through integration I get x over a is equal to y over b plus some constant. Okay, so now I want to solve this equation here for c. Which gives me x over a minus y over b. And this is the value for the constant. Okay, so our family of solutions is simply any function of f, that it, any function that is uh, continuous and differentiable, um, that is a function of x over a minus y over b will satisfy this uh, equation. Okay, so let's just take a um, a moment and check that that's true. So if I differentiate this function here with respect to x, I'm going to get f prime. Okay. Now I have to also differentiate the inside. What's inside? I got to use the chain rule. So I'm going to get 1 over a from differentiating with respect to x. Now I also have an a up here. So I have to multiply by a. Now let's go to this term here. So I'm going to have a plus partial u partial y is going to give me f prime again. But now I have to differentiate with respect to y, which gives me a negative 1 over b. And then I also have a b here. And this is um, hopefully going to be equal to 0. So let's check it out. a over a just gives me f prime, b over b. Okay, so I have a negative here. So I have f prime minus f prime gives me 0. So this indeed is the family of solutions that satisfies this PDE.